Did you like Wilder's knockout challenge? Of course. How does he do with Andy Ruiz or Joshua Usi? It's all about the knockout power, baby, and he's got that. So, you know, I've only seen one guy get up and win from that, and that was Tyson Fury. And not many people can get up from that shot. Thank you. Always great seeing you. Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV here with the Nightmare Chris Ariola. Chris, we just saw Deontay Wilder yep. with another soul-snatching KO. Yep. First rounder, man. Yep. Talk to us about what you witnessed tonight. Dude, one thing about Wilder, man, he's a killer, bro. He's, he, if he, he's gonna get you eyes, he can get you the fuck out, man. Man, that right hand that just connected on him, bro. It came out of hell, bro. Deontay has been working on this motherfucker since he lost to fucking Fury, bro. He's been fucking pissed about that shit. So now he, he's in a comeback trail. He's in a comeback trail in a hard way. Definitely. We've seen that shit tonight. So God willing, man, he gets that title shot again against Fury, and we see a different fucking story. Uh, what if the fight, what if the title shot came against Usyk for the other belts and not the WBC? Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. You know what? It's an advantage for Wilder to fight someone like Usyk. Why? Because he's not just getting one title, he's getting three titles. And I see someone like Wilder is going to give Usyk a hard motherfucking time. You can't teach size, you can't teach height, you can't teach reach. So Wilder has all of the above. And you know what? I'm looking forward for that fight. You know what? Uh, and in the co main. In the co-main event, we saw Caleb Plant, a guy that uh, coming in only had 12 knockouts. Yep. Uh, a lot of people said things like pillow fisted coming into the bout, um, knocked out Anthony Durrell and what was probably the most, will be one of the candidates for knockout of the year for 2022. Yep. Yep. Uh, tell us what you thought when you saw that knockout happen. See, one thing about Caleb Plant, bro, you can undersell this motherfucker, bro. My, there's a lot of people that think of him like, Oh, he's a great white hope. He's this and that. But you know what? He is a real fucking legitimate fucking middleweight. He's a real guy that's going to bring a fucking hurt to you. He's a guy that's going to make you work for that shit. Not, not, not only because he has good boxing style, but he has a hard punching style. He punches hard as fuck. And when he hurts you, when he hits you, you're going to feel that shit. And that's what happened tonight. Once you heard fucking him, Chris, what did you, you think about the way he doubled and tripled up on his power shots at times? What did you think about it? You have to. You had to do it because he kept hurting that guy with the same fucking punch. Why not do it again? Why not hurt him? Why not keep going? And he did. Definitely, man. Well, Chris, we'll let you get to everything and enjoy the night, brother. Pleasure, A lot of man. celebrating for everybody here. At Great time, my man. No doubt. Take care.